did my eyebrows already off camera, but I didn't um, like conceal them or anything. So we're gonna jump straight into concealing with you guys the same time and time and time again. Let's talk about how this is my first paid YouTube video. Like, I don't want to kind of get into the details on how. Uh, you know how me and Donnelly hair on Amazon linked up because I want to say that. So you guys definitely excited because it's like you know I'm getting paid to do this video and I just feel like you know it's been a long time coming with trying to get my channel off the ground, be consistent. Like I've had my channel for. Um, a long time I was like a senior in high school but I wasn't consistent and I felt like because I wasn't consistent and how long I've had my channel you know that has always prolonged um, the growth conversations with um, my family like this is something I really want to do so you know just having to be like take me serious take my channel serious and now it's to the point where i feel like okay this is as serious as it gets if someone is paying you and um uh, i can't wait till i do my hair so i can tell y'all how everything came about having my first paid youtube video and it's not being even paid from youtube is you know an outside company but I, don't know, I just feel like as a someone who wants to be um, an influencer, well, I'm in the process of like, you know, doing the work, as my auntie Ayala would say, self and to figure stuff out. So especially when it comes to my business, it's like, you know, in the field that I chose to be in. Okay, I see myself, I see what I'm doing. So it's like, okay, let's take this serious. Like, you know, you have companies that's reaching out to you that want to work with you. I'm going for, of course, a cozy fall look, but I still want to keep it natural. Yeah, so what else? Okay, that's how I feel about my first, um, how I feel about being paid. Of course, like I said before, do the work. I am a firm, firm, firm believer in getting to know yourself, you know, spending your time in your 20s or whatever age that you want to, to just really like be selfish and be okay with saying that, hey, I am selfish. I'm going to take this time to do this for me, get to know me, love me, take myself on a date, figure out stuff. So that's just kind of what I've been doing in like my early 20 years like late teens early 20s it's really just trying to like figure myself out figure out like who am i who is akira and then who is kira alicia who is an entrepreneur and stuff you know and how to best make all of my worlds collide so that i could make um income off of them and still be able to enjoy what i'm doing you know so with all of that good stuff, I'm just trying to figure out like where I fit in in the world, um, establishing myself, establishing you know things in my name, uh, learning how to prioritize, to act, you know. So it's having a balance. Being young and, you know, still living my life, still, you know, telling myself, Kira, you don't have to have it all the way together. You don't have to have everything, um, you know, figured out. Um, but I just, I cannot let myself get stagnant, let myself go backwards either. Because I have come such, 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 such. A long way. Yeah, but I'm really excited. Like my birthday is coming up. I am starting a new business venture. Uh, 
which is it's nothing new to it shouldn't be new to anybody because I've talked about it before this year but I'm finally like it's on the way and um that's really exciting and I'm glad that I feel excited about it and I don't feel like any other type of nerves or any other type of emotions or anything like that. It's been a long time coming because I've had this business like brewing for like all of this year honestly and it's at the end of the year and it's just like it has to come out like this has to be out before my birthday honestly it's really coming out before thanksgiving oh my god i can't believe i'm talking about this but oh well also i feel like as a woman when it comes to like relationships and stuff you need to know like who you are versus who you are when you are with somebody like you can't identify yourself without like in being, high school middle school i never was the type to have like boyfriends relationships like first of all my mom ain't played but you know i still as a child did what i did so it's just like even then i still didn't have i didn't have what my friends had like my friends they could go from like one boy to the next boy they could have all these different relationships and I got into work now, so my body started changing, my mental started really changing, how I looked at between. myself, how I had um, a boyfriend. I valued myself, how I realized how I wanted to be valued, like... Now, I'm kind of getting back to the point where... I'm open to a relationship a little bit. Only thing about me is I, I kind of think I'm a person who has a little bit of commitment phobia a little bit but at the same time or you gonna wish you would have got with me because I am a type person you who it, it is no I can gray area you and me either we together I can play it too. But I just feel like when you know yourself, you have to set yourself up accordingly. So I know what type of person I am, what type of love I give, and expect to receive back. But honestly, um, it's like so it's just like, a relationship. A and I'm just not like for wasting really time playing the game. Playing I've been really taking like a right. step back and you just looking at all my relationships, and not even seeing where it went wrong on the guy part, but just seeing where I went wrong on my part. <laughs> I don't know so y'all I've been thinking about my ex boyfriend lately like a lot and I haven't really been talking to people openly about it because I've just been trying to figure out how I'm gonna go about the situation if there's really a situation for me to like go about um but i don't know because it's like i waited man back last year um for about <gasps> six months i want my and, man back you know we definitely um ended the relationship on good times although we stopped communicating for like uh what like a year I don't know, like, I, my thing, my dilemma is, I don't know where he Earlier is in this year. His life. Of course, um, he don't know where I am in my life. When we was talking, like, life, because when we were still, like, you know, having really communicated, and trying to be friends and communicating and whatever like that. I 
don't know. Or at least want to try, like, or figure it out. Like, I just want to know, like, do you like me? Check yes or no. But, all honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like if I was to say I am ready to seriously um, try with somebody, I into the DMs a couple of times. Actually, he's only on my list because it ain't just, I feel like the guy is going to. Y'all comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about the whole like getting back with exes thing. Now me, Ooh, I I'm honestly about am not for because that's another thing like getting back with your ex. Like if it's done, it's just done. But I do, you know, also believe like. So, you know, anytime I feel like yeah, something, man, especially a man, man is taking me, um, you know, I'm a Sagittarius. But don't from to you, ain't no. I need to be prioritized on, which is on my birthday. I just want to feel love. Like every year, I just want to feel love. I want to feel special. You know, I want to feel like people actually have went out their way to make me happy on today. Like, this year. Plan on seeing Summer Walker for my birthday. She is coming down here and she coming down here on the exact date of my birthday. So I am really excited. Like, I Now let's do one of the next. I think I just want a gloss. And that's it. 